Hello, this is just a quick demo of the Cora Diff tool. So let me expand my window here so we can see it in action. Um, when you open it for the first time, you'll get an invalid serial. Just go to your settings, enter in your serial. And that serial would have been emailed to you. It's the same serial you use for your Cora software. And when you enter it, it should just clear away. The button should become active. So the first thing we do is we choose our output folder. So let me find my Cora output folder. Here we go. All right. And then we can pick the type of report we want. So we'll do a factor diff. And I'll look for my go-to example that's commonly seen in videos. So we'll pick between the 11th of September and the 19th. So assuming uh, we theorize there was an update between these two dates, I don't know that there was, I'm just checking. But if, uh, you know, if we believe there was a Google update, uh, say on the 15th or 16th, then these dates would be before and after the update, so we get a, a difference. And this tool will read the two files and tell us the movers and shakers. So we can see, uh, you know, the leading keywords in H1 tags is 18 spots up and a uh, number of images with alt text is up 37 positions and so on. So we can see how the correlations change. Ooh, this one's up a lot. So leading keywords in H4 tags. So we can see from before the update and after the update uh, how the correlation strengths have changed. Uh, if we wanted to, we could see how the rankings changed. We changed the type to a rank diff and we say go. And it'll read the two files. And now we see how the search results have moved for the top 100 results. And then if we're uh, tuning a page in here, we can do our progress report and we can see that, you know, for this keywords and sentences, we're about 16% complete. And for keywords in the HTML tag between these two reports, we can tell how much tuning progress we've made. The red ones are where the scope change. So it appears that our competitors made moves or Google changed the rules and as a result there's a higher degree of tuning. Um, and then at the bottom we can see anything that we've completed. Uh, anything that wasn't in the list before but is in the list now will appear as new. So it's a different kind of scope change. Uh, but when you see the red scope change it means that the target we're shooting for got larger. And so that's the Cora Diff tool. You can save these outputs as HTML files, and then you can email them or blog about them, things of that nature. All right, thank you.